Here at Broken Arrow, uh, we believe that uh, 921 is not just a book, but it's a standard that we utilize in how we conduct our fire investigations. Our fire investigators, uh, many of them, have attended the National Fire Academy where they have studied 921 in several courses. To be in the fire marshal's office as an investigator or a fire marshal, all of us are CLEAT certified. I had to go to ADA for four months and go through CLEAT, Council of Law Enforcement Education and Training. It's the same education that police officers go, for, go to. Even when I was a volunteer, I liked the investigation part of it. Uh, when the guys would come out with the state, I'd stick around and, and watch them. First being a, a course that familiarizes them with the investigative process called uh, R206, which is the fire investigation class. And the second more advanced class is R208, which is the interview interrogation and courtroom testimony class. In that particular class, the fire investigators are given an opportunity to not just read 921 or study it, but to actually apply it within the context of a courtroom mock proceeding, where they get an opportunity to investigate a cold case file and then testify about their investigation of that file in an actual live courtroom environment. Their classmates sit, 12 of them, in a, in a jury box. And we have three attorneys that come in, and both one directs the examination, one does a cross-examination, and the other one gets to wear the black robe and smack the gavel. So it's a, it's a real course taught by real trial lawyers who are familiar with and who are fire service experts in 921. That is the standard that courts are now looking to as an, as when they're looking for expert testimony from fire investigators. And it's imperative that all fire investigators be familiar with the document in the years ahead.